This little doohickey is the item printer, and using RNG manipulation, you can make absurd amounts of money. First off though, you'll need to calibrate. This is a program developed by Kofotics. As you can see, there's a date here. Uh, this is our target, 2018-04-04, 10-15-15. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the home menu, go into our system settings, scroll all the way down to system, then date and time, and then input the date it tells you to. In this case, we're going for the 4th of the 4th, 2018, because this will give us two ability patches. Calibrate our time to 10.15, and if you remember from earlier, the seconds also has to be 15. For calibration though, we are going to set a timer two seconds before that. So instead of setting a timer for 15 seconds, we're gonna set a timer for 13 seconds. Personally, I just use the, the, the Google timer. All you have to do is search time on Google and it'll it'll give you a little timer. That's the one I use. It's been, you know, reliable so far. We set the timer to 13 seconds and you want to hit start on the timer the exact same time you press OK. So I'm going to do it now. Three, two, one, go. And as the timer's counting down, you want to go back into the game, talk to this person and wait till the timer counts down to zero. And once it does, you'll want to hit I want to print something. So mine's going off now. So if we go to one print job, give enough materials, as long as we have enough BP, to activate the item printer. It'll activate, and if we're on time, we should get two ability patches. It's gonna open up, and those aren't ability patches. If I'm correct, these should be two oval stones? Yep, okay. So at the beginning, we, we had a goal of, of 15 seconds. We set our timer for 13. This will probably be fine for most switches, but mine's a bit fast. So usually when I do this, I actually wait one second. So usually when I do this, I want to go one second before, not two. So I would be waiting 14 seconds and not 13 seconds. If you've got two oval stones, you'll do have to do the same. You'll wait 14 seconds instead of 13. I've never heard of this happening, but if you've got two protein, that means your switch is even slower. You'll have to wait three seconds instead of two seconds. So you'd have to start your timer at 12 seconds, not 13. I really hope this makes sense because it's a bit difficult to explain. If you have any questions, you know, make sure to leave them in the comments. I'll I'll, I'll help as much as I can. Um, in the pinned comment, I'll also link to a thread by Anubis on Twitter who explains this much better than I ever could. But anyway, using this time I've given you, the 4th of April 2018, 10, 15, 15, it should activate the item bonus. Even if you're one second behind or one second forward, it should still activate the, the item bonus, which is exactly what we're going for. So now if you want to make a lot of money, like I said earlier, we're going to have to reset the RNG seed. So we're going to have to save and then quit so we can reset our RNG. So once we've loaded back in, we can stand right back in front of the uh, item printer. You can see the item bonus is still active. We can then go back to the menu, go back into our settings to change the date and time. This time I'm going to set it to the 24th of April in 2049, because this will give us six ability patches, which if you've ever sold one or ever had one, you'll know they're, they're worth a lot of money. We then want to go to 756, and we want to hit 25 seconds. Of course, we discussed this during calibration. You want to set your timer two seconds before 25. If your switch is a bit faster, like mine, it's one second before. If your switch is a bit slower, then three seconds before. So you want to hit 25 seconds. My switch is a bit fast, so I'm setting my timer for 24. And we're going to go three, two, one. And then we go back into Pokemon Scarlet, talk to this lady, but do not press anything until your timer is at zero. I've got a bit to wait, so I'll be back with you in a second. Three, two, one. And when your timer reaches zero, you have to press, I want to print something. You can then go back to 10 print jobs, insert all your, your materials and make sure you have all the BP necessary. And if you've calibrated correctly, we should be getting, that looks very promising. There we go, four ability patches, four ability patches, four ability patches. That is 12 ability patches total. I used this time specifically because it also gives you 10 lots of protein. Uh, if you're training Pokemon for competitive or for terror raids, th that is incredibly useful to have. So stopping the time just there, that's about four minutes. In that four minutes, we got 14 ability patches. 14 times 125,000 is 1,750,000. That's almost two million poker dollars in five minutes. If you ever need more money in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, this is 
undoubtedly the fastest way you will ever be able to do it. And the cool thing about it is there's even more cool stuff you can do. Using this, using RNG manipulation, you can get any specific item you, you want, you know, any Terra Shard, any Vitamin, any Pokeball. I'm working on a video that goes much more into depth in how to get certain Pokeballs and rare items. So if you want to see that, I would heavily encourage you to subscribe. I talk a lot about Pokemon. Oh yeah, that was probably obvious. I did probably didn't need to say that. <laughs> okay, bye.